Hey all, Alex here at your home of the Music Deep Dive, and today it is time for a review of the 2021 book by Michael Spitzer, The Musical Human, A History of Life on Earth. Uh, Michael Spitzer is a uh, Nigerian-born, hails from the UK, uh, music scholar, currently the professor of music over at the University of Liverpool. And if you read his biography on the site and you kind of get a sense of his published works, uh, his area of expertise is extremely wide-ranging, going anywhere from chant to arcade fire to Beethoven all the way to Captain Beefheart. Um, so really a lot of musical ground kind of covered in that space. So in many ways, Spitzer sort of seems like the perfect type of individual to tackle a book that is as broad as The Musical Human is. Now, what is The Musical Human about? This is essentially discussing how music in many ways is one of the key inventions and progressions that humanity has made throughout the course of our lifetime. And when I say that, I don't mean just in the history of Western civilization over the last thousand years. Um, I am talking throughout the course of humanity's existence all the way from really the emergence of Homo sapiens, you know, thousands upon thousands of years ago. Um, this is really a book that tackles a lot. And when you realize how extensive it is going to be, I mean, in a sense, it is trying to tell the story of humanity and how we have interacted with music in an evolutionary sense and in a historical sense. There's so much here that, you know, my fear going in, as I'm sure most people's would be, is does Spitzer bite off more than he can chew here? This is an immense topic that could probably fill several books easily. Um... Now, The Musical Human only comes in at slightly under 400 pages, which is not a whole lot of time, all things considered. Uh, this is, you know, not a short book, but a not a tome either. A uh, relatively mid-sized mass market hardcover or paperback, whichever you purchase. But I'm shocked at how well it uses that space. Uh, this is a terrifically well-done book in how Spitzer is able to synthesize all these different areas of research, of study, of scholarship, and incorporate them into this narrative that really see, seems to like try want to dig into, it wants to dig into the essence of who we are as humans. Um, there's one, there's a Steven Pinker quote um, that... Spitzer goes back to several times because it's clear that he is that pissed off about it, where Pinker says something about how music is like uh, like a type of cheesecake, essentially, where it is delicious and pleasing to the senses, but not essential, not essential to our existence. Um, I mean, it seems like it, it offended Spitzer on a personal level because he comes back to it so many times and seems to frame his thesis statement around arguing exactly the opposite. His argument is that music is one of the most essential things that we have ever done as a species, if not the most essential, because of how it ties into our base needs, how it ties into our ability to communicate, um, and how in a lot of ways it frames where humans are on the evolutionary ladder compared to other species. Um, so there's an entire section where Spitzer discusses kind of how music and sound production manifests itself in different animal species, like whales, um, like birds and bird song, like the chirping of insects, um, and describes how music is made in these spaces and is made on a sort of, um, you know, on a sort of granular level like that, I suppose. But also how, you know, describing how humans have sort of evolved from that and how we have intentionally produced sound, um, produce, producing tones differently um, compared to like a chimpanzee, for instance, kind of how humans have this more like distinct sense of pitch and intentional inflection in our voices. Um, 
it's really, it, it, that part is a fascinating thing, but I also don't want you to get the sense either that this is entirely based off of like biology or anthropology or whatever the case may be. That does not frame the entirety of this book by any means because this is also a cultural history. Um, the second part of this book, it's split up into three parts. The second part discusses how music and civilizations have interacted. And what I love about this is how Spitzer frames the Western music historical angle, right? So talking about the evolution of um, kind of music theory, the idea of harmony in the modern uh, tuning system, um, musical notation and that sort of thing. But he also contrasts that with some of the other major um, superpowers of the era, like the Middle East like India, like uh, the Far East, China, and how those cultures gained their own identity in contrast to the West, um, specifically how the West is very, there was that sense of like wanting to reproduce. Notation was kind of the big um, invention, the big thing that the West fostered um, during kind of medieval times. And in so doing, sort of cast aside the idea of improvisation, which all of these other major superpowers still fostered on some level. Um, it's also interesting to see how that kind of turns on itself at some, at some point, um, and how the West kind of, in a way, becomes a pervasive and dominant influence on aspects of um, Asian culture in China, talking about Japan as well, and how nowadays that spaces like uh, those countries are some of the most uh, fertile for the Western classical tradition that in this day and age, 600, 700 years ago, was the antithesis of what uh, traditional uh, Chinese classical music was all about. It's a very fascinating framing. And I'm not doing it justice by trying to summarize it off the top of my head here. It's really worth a read. Um, that section in particular, just because you don't necessarily get that perspective if you were just taking a Western music history class of some description. But really, this whole book is interesting. I mean, it reminds me of um, several books. One that jumps to mind, though, which is actually cited several times here, is Peter Frankopan's Silk Roads, A New History of the World and how Frankopan really centers his whole discussion on the history of civilization around the Middle East, around the Near East, um, for a lot of different reasons that are absolutely worth reading about. I can't recommend that book enough. And Spitzer feels like he's really just kind of building off of that idea and applying it to music specifically. And for the amount of topics that he is biting off here, I think he does an amazing job at summarizing them succinctly, at creating a narrative that feels like it flows. Um, it, it doesn't feel like he's giving his subjects short shrift in any sense, um, but it also makes me feel like I want to read more. I want to read more not in the sense of I feel like he's done me a disservice, but that I've had seeds planted in my mind. And I want to investigate any one of these myriad of topics uh, further. And that's a super high compliment. Um, bottom line is I was not expecting to, I was expecting to enjoy this book. And I was expecting to read some interesting things. But I don't think I expected it to wow me in the way that it did. And so I tell you, if you're looking for something that is entertaining, engaging, Sometimes kind of funny um, and really just an educational uh, volume about all sorts of different aspects of our musical evolution, how music relates to the human condition. I think this is such a great book, a, such a great thing to pick up. Um, it's a very recent book, so you can still find it at a lot of bookstores, I'm pretty sure. Worth your time. Michael Spitzer's The Musical Human, probably one of the best books about music that I've read in uh, the last couple of years or so here. So worth a read. Check it out. I told you so. And with that, thanks so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, 
More reviews are to come. Tell a friend as well. Make sure to leave me a comment if you read it. Let me know how you liked the musical, uh, the musical human, I should say. Um, I'm sure you will like it, and I hope you like it as much as I did. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time right here at your home of the Music Deep Dive.